Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Cat Chats. Before I get started in this video, yes, I'm not wearing makeup. I started doing my eyebrows and I was gonna do my makeup and I was like, you know what? I don't wanna do that today. So this is what you're getting. Today's video is so weird and I honestly don't even know if it's Cat Chats worthy. I don't even know if it's entertaining enough to be its own video, but here we are. I thought I would give you some sort of Cat Chats today because Tomorrow's cafecito con Kathleen is really bad. <laughs> I was testing something out. I, I was trying. Uh, since I'm gonna get dragged for tomorrow's cafecito episode, cause it's like really embarrassing, really bad. Um, I thought I would give you guys a cat chat. Are you alright, sir? Yeah. I thought I'd give you guys cat chats today, since a lot of comments are always like, "Wow, cafecito con Kathleen sucks." We'd honestly just prefer more cat chats. So, uh. I'm throwing in another one today. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys a little story about what happened to me not too long ago. I would say it's been about a month now since this happened and I wanted to tell you guys this story earlier. It's a very short story by the way, this video is gonna be very short. I wanted to tell you this earlier but I was waiting for my test results. I was waiting for that to get back. And I wanted to make sure I didn't have hepatitis before I told you this story. <laughs> so uh, let's begin. Let me start off by saying that I don't know what I'm gonna call this video yet. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet, but it's probably gonna sound a little clickbaity. I get the feeling. I have to make the title juicy in some way because I like to believe this happened to me so that I can eventually make it a cat chats video. I think the universe was like, girl, you ain't got no more interesting stories to tell. So I'm gonna do this to you. <laughs> so about a month ago, I would say it was over a month now, I had an appointment at the gynecologist. I was going in for my usual checkup, my annual little pap smear. It was just a nice routine day, nothing out of the ordinary. And I was actually going with Emilia. Emilia was, uh, Emilia was actually taking me because I, um, I don't, I don't really drive that much these days. She was just like doing me the favor. <laughs> we're just gonna hang out. I was gonna go to my doctor's appointment and then we were gonna go out to eat and have a nice, beautiful Friday. I know this story is sounding really dramatic and like I'm about to tell you the craziest thing ever, um, which I'm not, but in my mind, Armageddon. So Amelia pulls up to my gynecologist, she parks the car, and when I open the car door to get out of the car, I don't know how this happens, and it still blows my mind, but I managed to trip on my way out of the car. I was wearing sandals, which, mistake number one, but I was wearing my sandals, and I guess the way that I stepped when I went to get out of the car, I just kind of tripped a little bit, and my foot twisted on its side. I didn't twist my ankle or anything. I wish I could demonstrate for you and show you, but I'm sitting on the couch. But I just like opened the car, and when I went to step, I tripped a little bit, and when my foot landed on its side, like on the parking lot on the concrete, I felt this very small, but very intense, burning, stinging, poking sensation. And when I look down at my foot, I see this like white, long thumbtack looking thing lodged in the side of my foot. So this is my foot. Obviously I'm not gonna show you my toes cause ain't nobody wanna see that. Right here on the side of my foot was this like long white needle situation just stuck stuck in my foot, just like in there. The whole thing, like the whole needle part, all of it just in, just like in my foot. So I looked down and I'm like, ah! And Amelia's like, whoa, what's wrong with you? And I was like, there's this weird thumbtack stuck in my foot. Because honestly, to me, like from the distance, from where I was, I thought it was a thumbtack. Granted, I had never really seen a thumbtack of that shape, but I didn't know what it was. So I bend over and I pull it out of my foot and I'm like, what the heck is this weird Thumbtack. I'm like holding it and I'm showing Amelia. And Amelia looks at me and she's like, Girl, that ain't no thumbtack. That's somebody's used diabetes needle thing. And as soon as she said that, and I looked at it and I had seen it all like dirty and there was blood on it, obviously from my blood because I had just stabbed myself with it. I felt all my blood just rush from my body. It just went to my ass. I don't know. I felt dizzy. I turned pale. Amelia was like, okay, calm down. I can already see the panic building. I can already see the panic building. And she was 100% right because honestly in my mind, I had already cut my foot off. I was literally having a panic attack in the parking lot of my gynecologist for like a good five minutes freaking out. Amelia was like, calm down. You don't even know if it was a used needle. We don't really know the specifics. Let's just go inside. Let's tell your gynecologist just to see what happens. Mind you, I'm still holding this in my hands. 
I start to freak out and think maybe that white part is like contaminated with something. So I like run into the gynecologist and I'm like, I have to talk to the doctor. But I try to keep my cool, I try to remain calm. I like hide my little thumbtack. I'm just like waiting there to like go into the room. I'm freaking out. Everyone in the waiting room is looking at me like, what are you smoking? And I just remember waiting in the waiting room to see the doctor for like 25 minutes and they were the longest 25 minutes of my life. Emilia was like sitting down next to me like, relax, you're so dramatic, you're overreacting. And she was like scrolling through her phone and like showing me dresses like, oh my gosh, do you think that this would look cute on me on Saturday? Like, do you think I should wear this on Saturday? And I was like, Emilia, I don't know. I don't care about your Saturday outfit. I have to chop my foot off. I had a full-on meltdown. And then finally, when they took me into the room to see my doctor, she must have thought I was crazy because the second she walks into the room, I was like, oh my God, I have a problem. She was like, oh my God, what? what's wrong with you? She freaked out and I like pointed to the thumbtack and I was like, that is my problem. And then I explained the whole story to her, which let me just say, whoever it was, who checked their sugar that day walking in the parking lot, because I think that's what you use that for to check your sugar or like um, to keep up with your diabetes or what, whatever it was, whoever did that and threw their little used ass needle on the floor just for somebody in sandals to go and step on it, I hope you had explosive diarrhea that night because that is extremely irresponsible. But anyway. After I explained everything that happened to her, she was like, I can see you're really flustered right now, but like, what's your biggest worry, AIDS? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she explained to me that chances are I was gonna be safe since it wasn't a syringe. Syringes, for example, can hold blood and then that can transfer over to you if you get plucked by a syringe because the blood stays fresh inside the syringe versus this little needle that was hollow, it didn't have anything inside, it didn't have a place for the blood to stay trapped. She said, worst case scenario, Let's say the person checking for sugar had hepatitis. <laughs> this is not funny, but I have to I have to laugh. If the person had hepatitis and I had never been vaccinated for hep for hepatitis, I could possibly get hepatitis. Um, there are different types of hepatitis. I forget which one I could have possibly gotten because hepatitis does like stay longer. It doesn't die as quickly as AIDS. I think that's how she explained it to me. I, my mind is very foggy from that day. So I called my mom to make sure I was like totally vaccinated. And I am, I got those shots back in the day when I was younger. But when I went and spoke to my actual doctor about the situation, because you, you already know. I called my doctor immediately and I was like, I need to see you, something happened. <laughs> and I made my doctor check for literally everything. She told me that I needed to wait two weeks before I got blood work done because just in case something did pop up, it probably wouldn't pop up right away. So I took a test after two weeks and, but, also, my doctor said for me to be safe, 100% safe and free and clear, that I should check myself again in, in two months, just, just to be safe. So hopefully, hopefully I'm good then too. Oh, another thing, in case you're watching this and you're like, wow, it's not that serious, you really overreacted. I also got a tetanus shot. <laughs> the second I saw that little needle covered in dirt and blood because it was sitting on the concrete, on the pavement for God knows how long, I also thought I was gonna get tennis. For sure, for sure, my, I w my foot was gonna fall off. I went the very next morning and I got a tetanus shot and that might have been extreme as well, but you know what? It's better to be safe and crazy <laughs> than not safe and sorry. Uh, yeah, and that's my story, guys. This is a story of how I've had a very panicky mental state for the past month and a half. All because I accidentally tripped getting out of a car. Let this be a lesson to all of you. Wear sneakers to your doctor's appointments, number one. And number two, don't leave your used needles laying around. Those little thumbtacks, they come with a little cap. I know, I've done my research since the incident. I know that you can cap them and throw them away in the garbage, I know. So please, pinch responsibly. There are people out there who are walking in sandals and they're clumsy. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I really wanted to tell you guys this story and I truly don't believe in coincidences and I think everything happens for a reason. So I'm just gonna tell myself that the reason this happened is for me to spread this message to you all. To be careful where you walk. But anyway guys, um, I don't even know. This video is so, such a random story, but. Oh, hey Patu, hello. But I thought I'd share it with you anyway. That completes this video guys. I hope it was somewhat entertaining or somewhat a lesson. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
<clears throat> oh, it's counts me. It's counts me. Hey guys. Hey guys. You're like the weirdest dog. <laughs>